Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Danielle if you're new and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. Today I have a very exciting video for you. This is going to be part one in my Jomar Wholesale Palette Passes haul videos. I don't know exactly how many parts there's going to be to these videos, but I know there's going to be at least three, maybe more. There's so much stuff. I'm trying to show you as much as I can. So I have a huge stack here and a couple stacks in front of me that I will try to get through as much as I can. If it starts getting a little too long, I'm just going to stop filming and then I will do another part. I have not gone through everything yet. So this is going to be stuff I have gone through. Some stuff is listed. Some stuff is not listed. Um, some stuff I will not be listing myself, but maybe sending to flip to sell or whatever the case. Um, but this is the stuff from my Jomar Wholesale Passes palette. So let's jump in and I will go as fast as I can through this stuff. Okay, starting over here, this is a Zara top. This is a size small. This is just a white off the shoulder button front top. This is super cute. It had a couple stains on it. I just used my tie to go pin and got them out. Next up is a Madewell sweater. This is a size extra small. This is just a striped sweater and it has cute little elbow patch detailing. This has a little bit of like wear on the material, but it's not too bad. Next up is the brand Roller Rabbit, which I have never heard of before. It's a size small. Um, I don't really know what this brand is, but I looked it up and the comps aren't too bad. It's just this white uh, blouse with this blue pattern on it. So I think it's kind of cute and I think I will try this brand out because it didn't look too bad. Next up is this brand called, I don't know how to, Neve? Neve. I don't know. Size large. This is a um, kind of a zip top. This has a very interesting pattern on it. This has actually really good comps. They're selling from anywhere from like 50 to 75. So this is listed in my Poshmark closet right now. I listed it for I think 65 or 70. But um, I think this kind of stuff has a has a market, but it's not my thing. Next up is a Banana Republic top. This is a size large. This is a tank top and it's black and it does have a cute little tie detail there. Okay, this is so soft. I almost kept it for myself, but I'm not going to. But it's super soft. And I mean, Banana Republic tank tops don't sell for a ton, but I'm still going to make profit. Next up is an Express top. This is just a black sequin crop top. And it does have long sleeves. I don't really sell Express, but I thought this was super cute. So I am going to sell this one myself. And comps were not too bad on that one. Next up is Eileen Fisher. This is a size medium. This has just a v-neck with a sequin detailing there and long sleeves. It is like a lightweight sweater. So that is cute. And I love Eileen Fisher. Next up is an aqua item. This is aqua cashmere in size large. This is 100% cashmere. This is super cute. It's like gray here and then white on the back. And then down here, there is a cute lace detailing that goes throughout the back. So this is actually really cute. And Aqua, my favorite things to sell from them are the 100% cashmere things. So I love that. So next up is this Beauty and the Bleat, Beauty and the Bleast. <laughs> next up is this Beauty and the Bleat, Beauty and the Beat. Why can I not say it? Beauty and the Beast? Beauty and the Beast cream colored graphic pullover and it is in a size medium. This is super cute um, and it's super soft. Uh, this won't sell for a ton, but I did decide to list it in my closet. Next up is another Banana Republic tank top. It is a size large. This one's super cute. It's purple with this laser cut detailing uh, on the bottom. This has a tiny, tiny spot on the front. I don't even know it's like right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I just noted it in my description and still listed it. So next up is actually a new to me brand. It's called Mott 50. This is in a size extra small. It's just a blue and white striped long sleeve dress. And this does have a little bit of like wash wear on it, but it's nothing major. Um, and this brand, it did had pretty good comps and I'd never heard of it before. So I am going to try that out selling it. Next up is just this cute graphic t-shirt. It's the Lion King. It just says positive vibes and it is cropped. This is in a size extra large. Next up are a pair of pants by the brand Amanda and Chelsea. They are in a size two and they are the contemporary fit straight leg pant. And these are just a tan beige color and they are brand new with the tag. So that's awesome. And I did decide to list these in my closet. Next up is a brand called Lisette. Um, I had never heard of this brand before. These are a size large, but these are just a black. They are a boot cut pant and the comps on these didn't look too bad and I managed to find a stock photo for these and they look pretty cute so I did decide to list those in my closet 
Next up is a pair of Zara. These are like, okay, first of all, these are weird. These are not my style. These are a like plaid uh, Bermuda loose leg short. This is strange, but um, the comps look pretty good and I found a cute little stock photo for them. So I'm happy about them. Next up are a pair of Spanx. These are a size extra large and they are just a dark wash pair of legging jeans. So I love Spanx, so these should do really well. Next up is actually an item I'm really excited about. It is actually a brand I never heard of before. It's called Big Bud. And I didn't know what it was, so I was gonna look it up and I ended up looking it up and these things sell for a lot. So um, these are size extra, extra small. They're just a cream colored with long sleeves and then it's a whole like pant jumpsuit. The comps for these were really good. I ended up listing these at $125. They do have a couple of tiny spots on them. I did disclose them in my description. Um, I don't think I'll get 125, but I'm hoping I get close to that. So I'm super excited about these. Next up is a Gap. Um, it's like an oatmeal colored uh, zipper front jacket. It's just a cute little oversized jacket. I don't really sell a ton of Gap, but I thought a jacket was a pretty basic piece. So I did decide to list that in my closet. Next up is a pair of Can Can shorts. I don't know if that's how you say that. I don't know. These are just a pair of black distressed hem shorts. These have a tiny bit of puckering on the front, but nothing major. Um, last time I had a pair of Can Can shorts, they sold extremely fast. So I'm excited about those. Next up is a brand called Dottie. I'd never heard of this brand before. It is new with the tag and it is a black hooded um, swimsuit cover up. It's super cute and I did decide to list this. I saw comps were not that bad, so I am gonna list this. Obviously it's not gonna sell for a ton, but I am excited about that. Next up is an International Concepts uh, robe. This is a size extra small and it's just a red lace detail um, lightweight robe. This is super cute and it won't sell for a ton, but I really like it and I think it'll do well. Next up is a brand called Lila P. Lila P? Lila P? I don't know. This size extra small. This is just a forest green long sleeve knit top. This is cute. Um, comps were not great for this brand. Um, I did list it, but I may um, take it down and maybe put it on flip. Um, I'm starting to kind of take a step back and put more stuff on flip uh, so people can sell it for me because I can't, I mean, realistically, I can't store all this stuff somewhere. So maybe giving it to someone else is better. So that's what I've been doing. So I may um, pull that off of Poshmark and put it in flip if they accept that brand. Next up is the brand Hardtail. This is a size small. This is just a gray heathered pocket front pullover. And I didn't know what this brand was, but someone on Instagram actually told me this is not a bad brand. So I decided to list it. So it is in my Poshmark closet right now. Next up is actually a set of two items. It is a pajama set and it is by ASOS and it is new without the tag and it is a size 14. So it has this button front long sleeve top and it does have a green little leaf print. And then the bottoms, same thing, same size, just have a tie waist and they are just a pair of PJ bottoms. So this is a super cute set. This is listed and I got a lowball offer on them the other day, but I decided to hold out because I listed them a little on the lower side. This is a Levi's shirt, it's a size medium. It's just a cream colored graphic t-shirt. These don't sell for a ton, but people do love their Levi's, so I decided I would list that. This is ASOS Petite, it is new with the tag, and this is a size six. This is just a black v-neck mini dress. This is super cute, and I couldn't find a stock photo, which oh, I wish I could, because dresses just look better in a stock photo, but I still listed it, and I think it still looks cute and I think it'll do well in the summer. This is by the brand Alice and Olivia. This has no size tag, but this is a good brand. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna list this or not. I myself do not have luck with Alice and Olivia. I don't know what it is, but I might put this in a flip lot for someone else to sell, but this is just a, a black uh, mini dress, so, and it has this lace detailing up here, so it's really cute. Um, I just don't have good luck with Alice and Olivia. This is a pair of Gap jeans, and these are in a size 32 long, and they are the legging jean. They're just a basic medium wash skinny jean. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a ton of luck with Gap jeans, but these are in great condition, so I did decide to list them. This is a pair of AG jeans. These are the Absolute Legging Extreme Skinny Jean. 
They are just a basic black skinny jean and they do have a very small amount of puckering right here, but I can still sell them maybe for a little lower, but that's okay. Next is Cabbie. This is the old tag Cabbie. This is a size 14. These are just a pair of navy blue dress pants. I don't love to sell old tag Cabbie. These, the comps didn't look too bad, so I did decide to list them. Next up is another newest tag item. It is by the brand Tribal. And it does have a Nordstrom tag on it, and um, they retail for $64. And this is just a pair of, like, brown corduroy pants. Um, I don't really know. Comps, I, I mean, I didn't find many, and I, I listed them, but we'll see how it goes. This is by the brand Logo Lounge, and this is a size small. This is just a gray jersey um, feel skirt. It does have, like, a uh, this cute little hem down here. It's super soft, and I don't really ever sell this brand often, but comps look pretty good, so I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is an umji, um, size small, medium. This is just a kind of printed uh, kimono. It does have these cute little detailings on the sleeves. Um, I'm really picky with umji, but this piece is super cute, so I'm excited about this one. This is a Kurt Cobain graphic t-shirt. This is from American Eagle. Um, it just has a little bit of distressing. I did decide to list this not for a ton, and we'll see what I get for it. Next is an International Concepts piece. This is just a fox fur, like, vest. So it's cute. It might not sell till the fall, but I'm still happy with it. Next is just something from Victoria's Secret. This is new with the tag, a retail for $42. It's a size extra small. And this is just a, um, it's like a, a mini skirt panty shaper, I think. So, I mean, it's a basic item. It's so tiny, it fits on like my one thigh. But I did list this. Comps were not bad, so I'm excited about this. This is another Banana Republic tank top, size large. This one is white with the cute little flutter sleeve detailing and a cute little asymmetric hem down here. This is a pair of Madewell jeans. I think these are like older style Madewell. Um, and these are size 27. They do have a little bit of puckering, so I did list them a little lower, but that's okay. They're just a dark wash skinny jean. Next is a band of gypsies dress. This is a size extra small. It is a spaghetti strap with a cute little pattern on it, and it is a mini dress. This is a Madewell dress. This is a size extra small. This just has cute embroidered detail all around, and it is white. This is a pair of Victoria's Secret PJ pants. These are size medium. These are super soft, and I love the color. Um, and they are like a jogger pants, so these are super cute. This is a pair of Fashion Nova jeans. These are size 9. These are just a pair of distressed uh, raw hem jeans. I did list these, not for a ton, and we'll see how they do. I don't really ever pick up Fashion Nova. This is another pair of AG jeans. These are the Ballard Slim Boot. These are a little bit of an older style with the red label, but they're in great condition. With the leg, Slim Boot style. This is by the brand Gracia. This is size medium. This is a brand I actually discovered recently through Jomar, just a regular box. This is a blue and white kind of flower printed blouse. This is super cute, and it does have a zipper detail on the back. Next up is a bathing suit. This is by The Bikini Lab, which I had never heard of before. This is in a size small. This is just a little pink one-piece ribbed bathing suit, and it does have, like, a belt with it. I wouldn't be wearing a belt to the beach, but, I mean, you do you. But this is cute, and I did decide to list this. This is a splendid knit top. This is in a size small. This is just a blue knit top with the light blue base and then it has a dark blue accent on it. So this is cute. This is by the brand Blue Pepper, which I don't pick up, but I thought that this was not a bad style. The sleeves have this little detailing here and it might not sell till later in the year, but that's okay. This is a BB Dakota dress. This is a size small. It's purple with like I guess pleating, detailing, I don't know. Um, it's cute and it's in great condition. Next is this American Eagle sweater. This is a size extra small. It has this big cow neck and it is cropped with long sleeves. It is super soft and comfortable. This is another splendid piece. This is a size small as well. This is just a hooded waffle knit cardigan. This is super cute. I think it'll do really well once we get closer to the colder months. Next is a pair of American Eagle jeans. These are a size six, 
and they are the jegging style they are black and they do have distressing going all down the front so great style next is the brand grace and threads this is a size medium this is just a gray waffle knit malibu pullover this is super cute and it won't sell for a ton but i think it'll do well next is a pair of top shop jamie jeans these are just a floral embossed skinny jean these are super cute i think they'll do well next is a j crew blazer this is the hacking maybe i don't know size zero this is a blazer jacket and i don't ever pick up like this kind of stuff at the thrift store but the comps on this were actually really good so i'm happy to list this next is the limited silk so this is 100 percent silk polka dot skirt and i don't ever pick up the limited but i decided oh, it came on my palette so i'm gonna try it out just a pink pleated polka dot skirt this is another pair of a gap jeans these are a size 24 and these are the true skinny jean and they are in just a white color these actually have no flaws on them and i was surprised and so i'm going to try these out this is another gap piece this is a size extra small this is actually my favorite gap piece i've found so far this is a cute gray uh cardigan the stock photo i found for this is freaking adorable so i'm excited about this next is the brand bella doll and this is size medium i actually discovered this brand through a flip lot i got something in a flip lot that was this brand and it sold extremely fast so this is super cute this is like a chambray top with some distressing on it and i think it's adorable this is an altered state top this is a size large uh, you can wear it off the shoulder it does have embroidered detailing here and it is looking like this this is a madewell piece this is a size small this is just a little mock neck ribbed cream sweater this is actually a newer madewell piece so i was excited to pull this out this is a zara tank top this is a size small this is just a basic raw hem white tank top it is layered but i think it's cute it's pretty basic it won't sell for a ton but it's okay next up is by the brand sundry this is a size two this is a white pullover that just says a more on it and this doesn't have any flaws it has a little bit of like wash wear but nothing further than that so i'm excited about that this is a pair of zara leggings it just has this um like leather paneling on the front and these are a size small this is the brand of special a i have no idea what this brand is and i really couldn't find much on it they are just a cropped skinny jean and I decided I'd just list them anyways and see how it went. And they are um, distressed. This is a pair of Wild Fable little purple jogger pants. These are a size extra small. These are a super cute color. And they're really comfortable feeling. And Target just doesn't sell for a ton. But I decided I would just list it anyways. This is another Target brand, a Knox Rose. These are a size small. This is also another pair of jogger pants. Except for these have a velvet kind of stripe on the side. This is a chaser pullover, size medium. It just has this cute one love uh, graphic there, and then it has a rainbow sleeve detailing. This is a Vineyard Vines dress. This is a size 14. This is just a blue and white striped kind of fringe detail dress. This does have a tad of staining at the armpit, but it's nothing major and you can't even see it unless you're under some bright light. Another Banana Republic tank top, another size large. This is just a navy blue pleated hem tank. This is a Calvin Klein pullover. It's a velour gray pullover with the cute uh, Calvin Klein band at the bottom. This next piece is a commando tank top. I don't know what this brand is. It's a size medium large. I had never heard of this brand before Jomar started doing like commando packs. And so this is just a black v-neck tank top. I think it's like for shapewear but i don't know next is a pair of page jeans these are the old tag page which i don't ever pick up but i thought i'd list them anyways size 30 and they are the hidden hills high rise boot cut i do like this style it tends to sell well for me so i wasn't mad at that last item in this box this is a pair of levi's 721 high rise skinny size 32 these are a just medium wash skinny jean a classic jean so these will do well okay i grabbed another box oh my gosh look you can see all the clothes <laughs> poking through okay to be honest i'm not really sure what got in this box i feel like it was one thing and then i changed it to another in the middle so first thing is a pair of juicy couture teal blue sweatpants these are just a classic sweatpants that have a cut bottom so clearly i cannot cut 
I mean, cut. I cannot sell a pair of sweatpants that someone cut the bottom off. So these will not be sold by me. I think I kept them just in case, but I think I'm going to donate them. Okay, so this is by the brand that. Equalier? I don't even know. <laughs> I butchered that. It's just this blue, like, button down. I don't know. This is, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Yeah, I think this box stuff, I don't know what I'm doing with it. But I'll show you anyways. So this is a Adidas Climate Cool white collared shirt. This I might try to sell. Does it have a stain on it? I swear, I swear this has a stain on it. I don't know. Might try to sell this, but this is just a basic, like, old Adidas shirt. This is by the brand Carlise, Carlisle, Carlisle, I don't know, just a like tweed blazer, I don't love blazers, this has a skirt, I'm pretty sure that goes with it, that's somewhere in one of these boxes, but maybe I'll try to put this on flip if this is something they accept, so this next brand is called BF, BF, I don't know, this is just a black uh, dress, it's like a maxi dress, I think I tried to look up this brand and I couldn't find much, so I may end up donating this, but I'm not sure. This is an American Eagle Outfitters vest. I'm not sure if this is like the American Eagle I know and love or if this is a different one. I don't know. Let me know because I have no idea. But I mean, it's in great condition. I just don't know. This is called Rugby. I don't know. Size small, just a white kind of button front. It looks like either a tunic top or a dress. This is Liberty of London. I don't know what brand that is. It's Liberty of London for Target, size medium. I did look this up. I think the comps were like, eh, so I decided to stick it in here for the time being. It's just a patterned blouse. This is by Debbie DeBeau, the boo. I don't know. It's a white, I guess, crochet top. Very tiny shirt. Told you I'd show you the good, the bad, the ugly. Oh, look, here's the skirt. So this is the skirt to that blazer. So maybe I can do something with that. This is called 21st Century Lifestyle. I don't know what that is, but these are like a powder blue pair of capris. <laughs> this is by the brand Snow Skins, which I did look up. And it didn't look like it was too bad of a brand. But I'm not sure where I can sell this. Like, I don't know if Poshmark's the place. So I'm going to do some more research. This is by the brand Spencer Jeremy. It's size medium. There's the tag. I don't know what this is. It's just this striped top, blue bottomed maxi dress. I don't know what I'm doing with it. This is a Victoria's Secret size small. This is actually a swimsuit cover up. And this actually has some staining on it. I have... I had one that was the exact same style, just different pattern. And that one actually sold extremely fast so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this one i may either list it with the stains or just donate it we'll see this is a pair of j brand jeans these are white jeans and they have just a skinny style these have some staining on them so i'm gonna try to get them out and then um they are the maria skinny style i believe this is by the brand debbie cats um south beach i don't know this is like a blue and white patterned maxi i think this is a swimsuit cover-up but i'm just i'm not sure this is by this brand coco coco by i don't know it's one size it's probably a swimsuit cover-up this green like fringe detailed swimsuit cover-up i guess i don't know this is by peter miller size small this is just like a brown and pink wicking material shirt i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet this is a brand called miss elaine size small it's like a pink like i don't know this reminds me of like a nightgown i think this is a nightgown this is actually a like two-piece set it has these cute little like shorts maybe it has these little shorts and then it has this little tank top it's by the brand in bloom so that was everything in that second box. So this is kind of like a box of stuff I don't really know what I'm doing with or like brands I don't know or you saw a couple stained things that I'm going to try to fix. I have a box somewhere out there that's all stained things that I'm going to try to fix that I thought I was showing you, but then it was not that box. So maybe that'll be the next, the next haul. I don't know, but yeah. Oops. <laughs> I knocked my entire... <laughs> my life falling apart <laughs> oh my god really all the hangers had to fall 
Okay, we're back after <laughs> that hanger interruption. Okay, jumping in. This is the last box I'm gonna show you because I've already been recording for like 50 minutes. Okay, jumping in. This first piece is by Falcon Bloom, the size small. I have no idea what this brand is. Didn't care to figure it out. This does have like an undershirt in it as well, but it does have quite a bit of staining, so I think I'm gonna donate it. This is the brand here. I have no idea how to say it. Uh, it's a size small. It's just a button front kind of tank. Not sure what I'm doing with this yet. So this box here that I'm going through now is actually a box that's gonna be for flip lots most likely. Um, I know some of the stuff in it they probably won't accept, but I'm gonna try to put as much as I can because it's not terrible stuff. I just don't wish to put it in my closet and sell it myself. Next is this brand called Carew, maybe, by Mark Eisen. It's a size one. I think that's like vanity sizing. This is just a cashmere cream button front, like lightweight cardigan. So I don't know about this brand. I looked very briefly on Poshmark. Comps weren't terrible, but I don't love that piece, so I'm not gonna put it in my closet. This is a pair of Lucy leggings, and these are size large. These do have some pilling on them, like between the legs and stuff. They are a cropped pair of leggings. Um, I'm gonna try to put these in a flip lot. I'm gonna sweater shape them before, of course, but that's what I'm gonna do with these. This is a pair of David Lerner leggings. These are size six. These are just a, um, legging i mean i have a one pair of david learner in my closet right now and they just don't they're doing nothing so i'm gonna try to put these in a full plot and see if someone else can sell them so this is called solo sport it's a size medium i had never heard of this brand before i did look it up on poshmark and it doesn't look terrible but i just don't i mean i don't love these so this is the brand it's called sassy backs these are size large these are extremely tiny. I don't know if they're like a shapewear or something, but very interesting. I did find some very questionable things in the palette. This is a brand called Krista Lee, size extra small. I just don't like this. I mean, it's not terrible. I just, it's not my thing. It's pink, like, I think it's off the shoulder. And I don't know, I think it's a dress. It's not terrible. This is another piece by Hardtail. This is a size small. This kind of has some staining on it, so I may end up donating it. But we'll see. It's like a lilac purple denim jacket. It's like a half denim jacket, but not terrible. It just has a little bit of staining on it. This is a brand called Wow Couture. These are size medium. This is like just a navy blue pair of pants. I mean pants. A pair of shorts. I, I'm not sure. This brand looked, had terrible comps in Poshmark, so I'm not sure what I'm doing with those yet. Okay, so this is the next piece by Reed crack off i don't even know how to say that it is this sleeveless dress and it has like this asymmetric thing going on and the only thing i found about this dress i did find like a model runway photo and that's it but it does have this part up here is like coming apart so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet um i it seems like it's a designer i don't, I don't think it's like high end or anything but we'll see this is called a whitney eve this is a size small it's like a sheer pink striped long sleeve top. It's cute. I just don't love it. We'll see if they let me put it into a flip lot. This is by the brand of One State. This is size medium. This is a kind of a clasp front sleeveless cardigan kind of. Um, it's super cute. I just don't love One State. So I might put it into a flip lot. This is called Velvet by Graham Spencer. This is actually really cute. It's a black v-neck button front dress. And it's a really comfortable feeling, but I just don't, I mean, black doesn't photograph well and I can't find a stock photo. We'll see if Flip left me put in the lot. This is by the brand, a brand called Quench Wear. It says extra small. I got so many things by this brand. I, I have no idea what this brand is. I can't find it. I mean, I don't even know. Uh, it's just this tan, beige, open front, like jacket thing. I don't even know, but we'll see. This next brand is called Jenny Kane. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a black v-neck tank top. And the comps didn't look bad on this. But once again, I don't photograph black very well. So I might as well just have someone else sell it. So this is a brand called Green Tea. And this is a size small. This is just a oatmeal colored like pullover. Okay, so this is a Lucy vest. This is a size small. I actually did list this in my closet. I was going to put it on flip, but then I changed my mind. But it's just a embroidered um vest it's i mean it's kind of outdated but i think it'll sell this is by vintage havana i think havana i don't know one of those two 
Um, let's see what size. This is a size medium. And this, I mean, it didn't have great comps on Poshmark. I'm gonna try to put it in a flip flop because I just don't really, I mean, I don't love it. Next up is a dress by this brand. I don't know what this is. It's called Mila, Mila Collection Fashion, size small. Just a blue and white striped. I don't know what style dress this is, to be honest. It has a button front, kind of a fit and flare style. I don't know. I just don't love this. Couldn't find a stock photo. Dresses just look better in a stock photo for me. This is by Ming, and I know Flip accepts this because I already sent a lot with something Ming in it. Um, so this is a size four. I just don't sell this brand, and this is just not, not something that fits into my closet, so to flip it goes. This is a splendid item. I may end up selling this myself. This is a size medium, just a brown kind of thermal knit top. It is, it's kind of cute, but I don't know, haven't decided yet. This is a Hugo Boss dress. This is a size, I don't know, cause it's not here. This is a size two and it's just this green color and it's just this basic dress. I don't like this brand. I don't want to sell it. I don't wish to sell it. This is a pair of AG jeans. These are the angel jeans in white, but they're like a corduroy. And I had the hardest time finding a freaking stock photo for these. So I just gave up and put them in my flip pile. I prefer my closet to have stock photos over my own photos, um, just because I think it looks better. White and black especially look just not great. So I'd rather have a stock photo, especially for something like that. So I'll see if someone else can sell it for me. This is an Anna Klein dress. This is a size 10. Does have a belt with it. It's just a black lace dress, a basic dress. It's cute. I just don't sell Anne Klein. We'll see if Flip accepts it. This is a Club Monaco dress. This is a white. It's cute. It might be a swimsuit cover up, um, but it's just a white dress. Club Monaco, I see it on Flip all the time. So I know they'll accept it. It's a double zero. And of course, like I said, I couldn't find a stock photo in white. Just, I hate photographing white and black. This is a Victoria's Secret pink jacket. This is blue and white, and it does have this cute detail here. This has a couple little staining spots um, on the neckline. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in a flip lot yet. I did put it in here because that's what I think I'm gonna do with it, but we'll see. This is called Heartless Jeans. I don't know what this brand is, but these are a really good style. So these are like a flare leg frayed hem style. So really good style and they're high rise. This is an ASOS blouse. This is a size two. I just don't love it. So I don't wish to sell it myself. I mean, it's cute, but I don't love it. It has a button front. So into flip. These are a pair of J brand jeans. These are the old J brand jeans. These are size 27. I don't want to sell them because they are the old brand and they're low rise and just not my favorite. So this is a brand called Parker. It's a size small. I did look this brand up on Poshmark. It didn't look terrible, but I just don't have a ton of experience selling it. So I'd rather someone else sell it for me. This is a cute little blouse. So I think it'll sell for someone else. This is another Club Monaco piece. Dies double zero as well. It's just a quilted black skirt. So someone will want to sell that. Next up is Self Portrait. This is a size four. I don't know if this goes underneath another dress, if this is just by itself. I haven't figured it out. Can't find a stock photo, nothing. I don't sell this brand ever because I never find it. So I decided sending it to Flip was probably the best thing to do. So someone else can figure it out for me. This is by Aqua. Like I was saying, I like the Aqua cashmere better. So I decided to put this in a flip lot, this size medium, just a gray kind of high low sweater. This is by a brand called, Tri sorry, Tribe. And it's a size extra small. It's just this black sleeveless button front maxi dress. It's really cute, but just photographing really tall stuff when I'm a midget is too hard and it's black. This is a Topshop skirt, uh, size four. I don't think they're actually accepting Topshop right now. So this may not make it into a lot. I may sell this myself, but this is just a little pencil skirt. And then this is a Banana Republic sweater. This is a size extra large. Flip actually doesn't accept Banana Republic right now either. So I will probably end up selling this myself. This uh, palette had a ton of Banana Republic. I don't love Banana Republic. Like I'll sell it if I have to, um, but it did have a ton of it. Oh my gosh, we're done. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the first haul video here. I know this was super long, so if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you have any knowledge or you have information on something that I talked about, 
please let me know down below because I could use all the help I can get. Sending some of the stuff to Flip is a great use of my resources that I have. So I'm super excited to start doing that. But that is it. I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again on Monday for another weekly vlog. And of course, I will see you on Wednesday for another What's So Wednesday. Bye.